Hi, this is Marissa, and I want to really welcome you to this new and exciting series called Meditate with Marissa. I've been listening to a lot of other meditations, they're all very good, but I wanted to do something different and innovative. And I call these nicer meditations. Nicer is an abbreviation of what they're about. They are new, they are innovative. Our meditations are manifesting meditations where we install into you new beliefs where you can call in and code in your heart's desire, but also erase and eradicate and release all the things that are holding you back. That's what nicer means, new, install, code in and call in what you want, eradicate and eliminate the old stuff, and then release, release and repeat. So they're very powerful. What you'll find is that when you start to dialogue with the universe in this powerful, profound way, it starts to come back to you in even more powerful and profound ways. So these are nicer meditations for manifestation with me. I've been doing this a long time and I know how to do it. I know the difference between people who succeed and people who fail is three things. What you think, what you believe, and what you do. And if you meditate, you change what you think, you change what you feel, you change what you do. Here's the law of attraction. Your thoughts control your feelings, your feelings control your actions, and your actions control your events. So many people try to change their events when actually, when you change your thinking, you've already won. So these meditations are easy, they're simple, they're not long, they're just right, and they're designed to rewire you in the most wonderful way. And all you have to do is listen. It's very important, of course, that you switch off the phone, switch off the doorbell. Please don't do this when you're operating machinery or driving a car. Other than that, wear some nice, comfortable clothing, get yourself in a lovely position, turn everything off and prepare to be wired. The joy, success, peace, calms, whatever the particular audio is that you're listening to, because we have a whole library covering everything you could possibly want, and some things you didn't even know you wanted. Welcome to Meditate with Marissa. I hope you enjoy it. I know it's going to change you in a wonderful way. Let's begin. And now you are beginning a beautiful guided meditation. It is such a wonderful state. It is the most calm, meditative, perfect state of mind. And there's nothing for you to do, nowhere for you to go. You simply need to close your eyes. So close your eyes. Make sure that you're comfortable. Breathe in, breathe out. And again, breathe in. Breathe out. Remember the first thing you did when you came on the planet, you took a breath. The most natural thing in the world. Take a breath. Let it go. Take another breath, even deeper. Hold it for longer. Let go. Take another breath. Remember this is the second thing you did when you came on the planet. You breathed in and you let go. And you might like to know the most important words in the whole world are not love or God or Allah or Buddha. They are let go. So let go now. Just let your breathing in and out. And as you breathe in and out, as you take a breath and give one away, take a breath in. That's good. Learn to take. Let go. Give that away. Take more, give more, give all that breath away. Take that breath in. And as you go deeper, as you're breathing, your inner mind, the most powerful part of you is listening to my words. They are sinking in as you understand that you are enough. You have always been enough. For the rest of your life, you will always be enough. And as you listen to this beautiful meditation, you are understanding the truth about you. You are enough. 
You have always been enough. So as you breathe in, I want you to breathe in your enoughness. As you breathe in, I want you to think, I'm enough. And as you breathe out, let it go. You're enough. Breathe in. And every time you breathe in, you're breathing in sync with the truth about you. You are enough. You have always been enough. You always will be enough. And as you understand the truth about you, how enough you are, how enough you always have been, how enough you always will be, you understand even more truths. You don't go to enough. There is no destination called enough. You don't go to enough because enough is inside of you. When you know you're enough, it takes root and it resides in you. So I want you to imagine that enoughness taking root in you and growing like a flower, the roots are strong. And that enoughness is flowering in you, staying in you. There is no destination called enough. There is nowhere for you to go because enough is in you. Knowing you are enough is an inside job. It's who you are. You can't buy enoughness. You can't earn enoughness. You can't chase enoughness or even work for enoughness because you already have it. What you want, you have. It's part of you. And now it's part of you. You have a wonderful job. Grow your enoughness every day, just the way you would water a flower. Nourish and pay attention to your enoughness just by checking in. Going, there you are. That's the enough part of me. It's always there. I just pay attention to it, check in with it, and say every day, I am enough. Three words that are so powerful and their strength is in their simplicity and their absolute profound honesty. You are enough. And as you know you are enough, you know something else. There's nothing for you to add to yourself to be enough. And there is nothing to subtract to be enough. Nothing has to be added in. Nothing has to be taken away. You are enough. You are so much more than your weight, or your shape, or your size, or your job description, or all the different numbers in your bank account, and on your birth certificate, and in your clothing, and on the scales. But that's not you. You're not your childhood. You're not even your memories. No. You are enough. And as you know it, accept it, nourish it, and let it grow within you as you nourish your very soul, your very DNA with the truth about you, that you are so enough, that you could not be more enough than you already are right here, right now, this minute. As you know you are enough, you give the whole world permission to also know and see your enoughness. Know and accept that you are enough. As you verbalize it, as you state it, as you accept it, as you live your truth of your enoughness, you are giving the whole world the ability, the consent, to also recognize and accept your enoughness. So right now, accept your enoughness. See your enoughness. Give the world permission to recognize your enoughness. Give the world ability to see your enoughness with you. Give them consent to recognize and accept your enoughness just as you do. 
And something else is so beautiful is happening as you recognize your enoughness, as the world recognizes and feeds back to you your enoughness. You also recognize the enoughness of others. And now you can be more, do more, love more, live more because of your enoughness. Your enoughness makes you feel worthy and valid and lovable and significant. It makes you feel enough. It makes you know that you matter, that you're here for a reason, that you have something to offer the world. There is no one on the planet exactly like you. And you are enough. And as you know how very enough you are, it makes you benevolent. It makes you warm. It makes you even more lovable. Because what you want, enoughness wants you. And what you are moving towards, enoughness is moving towards you as you move into your enoughness. It moves into you. As you step towards enoughness, it steps towards you. As you want enoughness, your enoughness wants you to recognize it. And so now you accept your enoughness. And as you accept that you're enough, so many beautiful things happen. So many beautiful things happen as you accept your enoughness, as you do one, just one wonderful thing for your soul, for yourself by knowing you're enough. Your soul does so many, so many wonderful things back for you. As you accept you're enough, you find connection. As you accept that you are enough, it sticks to you. It stays with you, it sticks to you and you stick to it, it stays with you, and you stay with it. What you add to I am, you add to you. And every time you hear this meditation, you're able to repeat after me, I am enough. That is the truth about you. Say it again, I am enough. Say it with feeling. Say it with conviction. I am enough. Say it with joy. I am enough. Say it with delight. I am enough. Remembering what you add to I am, you add to you. What goes after I am, goes after you. What follows I am follows you. And the words you add to I am are added to you. So as you say I am, add in the truth about you enough. I am enough. I have always been enough. I will always be enough. I am enough, say it. And then when I say you are enough, let it sink in. Just as lotion sinks into dry skin and nourishes it, words sink into a dry soul and nourish it. Allow the nourishment of I am enough to nourish your heart, your soul, your very psyche. The most important words you will ever hear are the words you say to yourself with conviction and power. I am enough. Repeat it and repeat it. Play with it. Repeat it more. I am enough because you are enough and your enoughness your willingness to accept it, to own it, to state it, to reinforce it, to command your mind, 
to let it in will take you to a brand new destiny. As you define I am enough, you're defining yourself. And all the words you add after I am are yours to change and upgrade. What you add to I am, you add to you. So again, I am enough. Say it, feel it, state it, own it. And I want you to think of all the exciting ways you can add enough into your life. Maybe you can stamp it onto your pillow. So the last thing you see, and indeed the first thing is you sleeping, engulfed by the words, I'm enough. Maybe it's on your washcloth. And you see it last thing and first thing. Write it on your bathroom mirror. So you must see those words, drink them in, soak them in. Let them define you. Maybe you're going to put it on your phone alerts, on your phone wallpaper, maybe put it on your fridge in fridge magnets, write it in sand, ice it onto your cupcake, print it onto your t-shirt, stamp it onto your jewelry. There are so many ways to put I'm enough into your life. Write it on your comb, your hairbrush, Write it in lipstick, in eyeliner, in marker, on your mirrors. Own it, claim it, speak it, state it. Remember, this is the truth about you. Own, accept, embrace your enoughness. Give the whole world consent to join you in recognizing your enoughness and recognize the enoughness of others. And now you have peace and joy and delight and completeness. And knowing you're enough doesn't mean you stop growing. It means you grow better. You're able to have a fuller, richer, most wonderful life because you are worth it. You are worthy of love. You're worthy of joy. You are worthy of success. You know why because you are enough. Say it, state it, remember. You are impressing this into your mind, calling it in. And finally, I want you to just sway from side to side. Just let your shoulders move the way you might sway when you're at a rock concert or a concerto. And as you swear, I want you to imagine all of those old beliefs that hurt you, that held you back, that are limiting, that don't serve you, just falling off your shoulders. You are raising, eradicating, eliminating, releasing anything that would have you believe you're not enough. And one last time, put your fingers on your third eye. Impress upon yourself your enoughness. Code it in, call it in, imprint it in. You're enough. Impress that onto your mind, your soul, your psyche, the whole world. And now you can just slowly, calmly, easily just open up your eyes. Come back to your full awareness. And if you enjoy this, you can stay there longer. And next time you're ready to do this, I want you to have a picture in your hand, maybe a picture of your mood board, so that as you're impressing in, coding in, imprinting into your enoughness, you have a little picture in your hand. You don't need to see it. You can see it in your mind's eye. And if you can see it, you can achieve it. I hope you enjoyed that. When you're ready, you can just slowly, calmly, easily open your eyes. But if you think, well, oh, I'm so blissed out, I'm so chilled, I just want to stay, then absolutely stay in that lovely state for as long as you need to. Because meditation is so good for you. And remember, when you profoundly and deeply communicate with the universe, it begins to interact back with you. 
So if you love this meditation, we have a whole library for you. But if you think, you know what, there's something I'd love to meditate on, to manifest, to call in, to code in. I'd love to release something and wire in something new. And it's not on the list, send us an email. We'd be delighted, thrilled. Really happy to give you all the titles you need. So please let me know if there's any way I could serve you by giving you the titles you want. I'm always happy to produce more. Thanks for listening. So now you can just do whatever you want to do or you can just stay in this chilled state. You can play these meditations at night and then let yourself sleep. You can play them in the morning. You can play them when you get back in from work and you can play them more because the mind learns by repetition and your body is controlled by a network of intelligence which is influenced by your own brilliant mind. And when you meditate, you drop right down into that network of intelligence and you begin to communicate with your mind and it begins to do what you want and you begin to get it right and it becomes easy, even seamless to do it more and more and more. And you know what will happen? It stops being what you do and amazingly, beautifully, wonderfully, it becomes who you are. So meditate more. Listen to as many of these titles in the library as you like. And send me an email. I'd love to know how you get on and what they are doing for you. Thanks for meditating with Marissa. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you.